awarded the Iru Lagos Everyday Achiever Woman. The brilliant photographer Eleanor Goody shares stories about her upbringing, the early days of her studio, and the people who inspire her fashion. My name, Eleanor, means bright light. And I think that my personality is very bubbly, very happy. I'm drawn to light and I'm drawn to people who are like me. And um, that's basically who I am. I'm just an easygoing, happy, fun-loving girl. If I wasn't a photographer, it would have to do with children because I really, I love kids. I would probably own a crush, maybe. I would probably be doing something kid-related because I think kids get me. I get kids better than I get adults. She told us where her adventure began. Born and bred in Lagos. My childhood was fun. I've always been a bit of a tomboy. I still am. I have a brother who's just a year older than I am and so we're really close and we spent our childhood exploring on the roof jumping, flying the fences, going to people's gardens, you know, chopping up lizards, putting mango leaves in them. We thought we were creating mutants at the time. We were, I, all this creativity had to come out somewhere. I think I'm still like a, a big kid now. I haven't changed much. I don't think my mom would, or my dad would say that. I'm, I'm very different. I'm older, but I'm still very, I'm playful. It's, it's two things. I'm, I'm an introvert and an extrovert at the same time. It's, it's you know, it's weird because I, I can be very playful. And then on the other hand, I like my own company. So it's a bit of both. No, I just need some curves, curves, curves. An incredibly beautiful woman. We wanted to know how gorgeous she thought she was on a scale of one to 10. 10. She gave us insight into what influenced her lifestyle and the principles she's guided by. My belief in God is what influences my lifestyle and, and my, my sense of what is right and wrong. You know, everyone has an innate sense, or I want to believe everyone does to an extent, know the difference between right and wrong. But I think God, God influences my lifestyle. I believe in right and wrong. And then I always tend to go with my gut feeling. It hardly ever lets me down. We needed to know the source of inspiration for her fashion sense. Comfort inspires my dress sense. <laughs> and that's the truth. It just, as far as it's comfortable, yes. I have no, I'm not a fashionista in any way, shape or form. Whatever is comfortable and looks good to me is what influences my fashion style. There will be no ganging. There will be um, something very, something I can walk in to begin with and then it will be something that I can breathe in. And those are the two things that will influence the decision on whether I'm buying or not. Her single greatest achievement? Well, work-wise would be my studio. It's my dream studio that's now a reality. So just seeing my vision now come to fruition, I think that would be my greatest achievement to date. The studio, um, I had just this, the back. When this, this was like five years ago, I had just this space that we're in, but without just, it was just the BQ of this building and I had the kitchen as well. And then I had to share with another company and they, were, they had MTV, they had all of the building and I was away here at the back. So I had very little space. And then over time we got the building and then we've been able to develop it, you know, after a lot of, trouble because you know we wanted height we could we had to dig down we had to so in all you know from the time that we started renovating the project uh, when we got the building it's taken about two and a half years to, to yes to get it to where I want it to be so that's how long it's taken me to achieve this who she felt was the greatest woman that ever lived. Someone who I actually believe must have been a great woman of her time. Maybe Queen Esther in the Bible because she saved her people and 
she killed all of them that wanted, you know, went after her people. So she set an example and she, yeah, yeah, she, she, was, she was phenomenal. Was there a celebrity she adored? I like Kate, Kate Winslet. She's very, um, I, I like the vintage look. I like her poise. She's very elegant. She's very timeless. Like her style is, you know, it, it's not, it's conservative, but it, you know, it, it speaks volumes. She needs, she doesn't need much, you know, it's, yeah, she's perfect. Yeah, Kate Winslet. If I was ever to be, you know, seen as, yeah, that's, that's, I would take um, the Bible according to Kate Winslet and study it and, yes, be it. Yeah. The greatest movie she ever saw. I think Pretty Woman. It's a movie that I can watch over and over again and I can still watch over and over again. I think it just appeals to some romantic side. The way he goes out, he asks her a question, um, what happens when the prince rescues the princess? And then she says, he, she rescues him right back. And then, uh, and then, you know, that's just, it's just love, it's just romantic, it's everything, you know. Just for fun, she told us who she thought was the sexiest man alive. Sexiest man on earth. I don't even have to think about it. That's Will Smith. He's everything. Like, you have nothing to argue. You have nothing to say against. There's no argument for why he is not the greatest man, sexiest man on earth. He is, he's, let's just leave it there. Why? Because he's, 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 he's sexy. He's funny. He's tall. He's handsome. He's, he has that swag. It's everything about him. Do you want me to keep going? <laughs> like, Will Smith, final. Search for a business model that is scalable, repeatable, and equitable. Once you've discovered this, you can dream big, start small, and scale fast. She gave us her honest opinion of Iro Lagos and the perfect occasion for the Iro Lagos outfit. It's Iro and Buba sexified. I, like I said, I'm very into comfort and this is very comfortable. It feels good. The, the traditional Iro and Buba is very stiff and this, is, this gives a, a modern edge to the Iro and Buba. I like it, I would wear it. What would I wear it to? I was actually supposed to be at the wedding today. If, 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 I, if, if I call and they say the wedding is not over, I will be going there in this outfit. So that's where I would wear it today. Being picked as one of the Iro Lagos Everyday Achiever Women, she told us what this honor meant to her. The group of women that have been chosen, I feel honored to be part of them. And I'm excited, it's, it's been fun. It is fun and it's a brand that I would definitely be happy to represent, so. Yeah. To watch more incredible and inspiring African stories, or to receive assistance building or sharing your unique ideas, visit www.notionafrica.com.